Hi guys, it's Debbie. I wanted to take an opportunity um, to talk to you a little bit about the Stampin' Up! kits. And the reason I'm doing this right now is because yesterday they just added some holiday kits. So now you can get a Christmas card kit. Um, there's ta a tag kit and there is a treat bag kit. Um, so these are great for if you want to give a gift of a kit to somebody who stamps. Um, if you have kids in school, those treat bag kit is going to be amazing. And if you combine the two, the tag kit and the treat bag kit, you've got it made. So anyway, I wanted to jump on and show you just how easy these kits can be. Now they have several different kinds of kits. They have card kits. They have some that are stamping, some that are no stamping, which is what I'm gonna show you today. They have crafting kits. And these kits include things like treat packaging, um, card, a set of cards to give as a gift. Let me show you one of those. I've got one of those done right here. Look at this. This comes, whoops, I've got it upside down. And it comes as a kit. So you can make these little cards to give as a gift. And you can see each one has an envelope. There's all these little cards in this little box. So if you've got a friend who likes to give out little cards, but maybe doesn't have time to do stuff or doesn't have kits, cards, you could make a kit and give to them. There's lots of different kits available. Um, I want to show you one today. I want to show you just how quick and easy these can be. Now we've had the Paper Pumpkin for a long time, which is a subscription program where you get a kit in the mail every single month. And we have some people who don't like those because they are maybe sometimes have treat packaging and they don't want treat packaging or 3D objects. They just want cards or maybe they have plenty of cards and they'd like to get other things. The thing about our kit collection is you can go in and you can select what you want to do. So if you want to make cards, that's great. You can make cards. If you want to get treat packaging for the kids class party, it's, it's in there. It has everything. So the one we're going to do today is called Notes of Cheer Card. And you can see I've not even opened it yet. So we're all going to be doing this together. But um, this is one of their non-stamping kits. So I have several new stampers and I think you will love this. We're going to start out and open it up. And I'm going to show you this is what you get when you purchase one of our kits. So let's unwrap here. And you can see the, the cost of this kit, this particular kit, I think is, let me look real quick. I think it's $12. So for $12, you get to make nine cards. Now you can't buy nine cards for $12 anywhere. And these are beautiful cards. So let me show you what you get in your package. We've got a few little dimensionals. Ooh, look at the little sparklies. Those are pretty. Now these come with your envelopes. You've got three that are blue inside. And you can see from the sheet here, let me make sure I've got this in view here, that those go with that. Um, we've got three that are green inside and three that are pink inside. So there's your nine envelopes. Now we've got our cards here. We've got three white bases. Here's some butter, the butterfly cards. And then we've got, ooh, those are pretty. Look at the colors on that. And then it gives you all of the pieces that you're going to need. And this one, because it's a no stamping kit, gives you, and you can see it comes in different languages. So you've got three sheets with the words on them. 
We've got some cute little frames here. And last but not least, we've got some more words. Oh, and here's some glue dots. Okay, so now that we have it all unpacked, all you do is open it up and it's going to tell you step by step by step what you're going to do to make your cards. So for number one, we're going to, it shows you even where you're going to put your dimensionals. So we're going to start with this piece. And you can see it's got dimensionals on it. So we're going to take dimensionals and we're going to put on the four corners. The big butterfly goes to that side, so we'll turn it over this way. And we're going to put dimensional dimensional, dimensional, and dimensional. And this is going to go on to our really colorful card base. So you're gonna bring your card base in and you're going to take your papers off of your dimensional. And put this on top of the card base to center it. Okay. The next step is you're going to take your greeting, which you can see is green. So, and it says you're on my mind. So we're going to take that out and it's got little dots here. We're going to poke out. Let me get my little tool out. Sorry, I bumped that. You can see everything is done for you. We're gonna take these little Okay, now we've got those out. And it shows you again, when you see this symbol, two dimensionals are gonna go onto the back of that. So your greeting's going to be popped up. And they're right here. So we're gonna take two more dimensionals and put on the back of here and here. You can see I didn't get those all the way out. So we need to make sure we get those little things out. Now we're going to pop this. I did my butterfly backwards, didn't I? That's okay because it's my card. So I'm just going to move this over here. And now you can see the next step is you're going to take these little gems that you got. Open this package up. And it shows you're going to use one, two, three, four, five, two bigger and three smaller. So let's get our little, and we're going to put the bigger one by our greeting, which mine is backwards, but that's okay. And then another one here and another one here. And then we're still gonna take a couple more and put over here and up here. And there you have your first card done. And that took us, what, just a few minutes. So, and if you want, you can do all of those at once. I'm gonna, you know what? No, we're gonna go ahead and finish all of them. So let's go ahead and get these ready. We know how easy it is. And the next ones, we're gonna do all three at the same time. All right, let me find my butterflies, which are right here. And this time we'll put them on correctly. 
We'll put them on this direction. Not that it matters, but so we need to go ahead and put dimensionals on the corners of these. We're going to do four on each card. All right, go ahead and pop these onto the fronts of the cards. These are great cheer up cards. Um, and it doesn't matter what time of year it is, who doesn't like to give butterflies? So, all right, let's get this one on too. These are pretty, I like the colors in this. We're gonna pop that one on. We're gonna go ahead and pull out our other two You're On My Minds, and we're gonna go ahead and poke out these little holes here. And get these all ready. We'll put two dimensionals on each one and pop them on the front of the card and the card's done. And then you have the inside of the card to write your message to your friend. And these are ready to go. These are nice too to have on hand because you never know when you're gonna need a card and you know, for this price and these pretty cards, you could have these ready to go. And all right, let's put our two dimensionals on each one of these. And you'll see once we get these together, it really doesn't make a difference which direction or side. The butterflies are just as pretty going either direction. This one's going to go up here. And this one's going to go here. And again, we'll go get our gems and put our little jewels on and give it a little bit of extra sparkle. All right. So... Let's take a big one here and a little one here. Let's do a bigger one. Oops. Let's do a bigger one up here and a little one down here. Okay, again, we're gonna put gems on this one over here. Okay, so we got those three done. You can see one's different than the others. It doesn't matter. Um, but let's get those set aside. Three down and six to go go on to our next card and you can see that these are all done for you. We're going to fold them and burnish that burnish them with a bone folder to make sure we get our crease good here. And we're going to do all three at the same time, get them done. This is a wonderful kit. And this says you make life brighter. So we're gonna pull those off of here. Three different ones. All right, so we've got our butterflies and we've got our cards. And they put four in the center, they left the ends open. So when you put four on here, we'll make sure we, because this is gonna fit across and it's gonna stick off just a little bit on the sides. So we'll start with, whoops, I got that one upside down. And we'll space them out. That one wants to stay with my finger. It doesn't want to go on the card today. 
Okay, so there's that and that. And one, two, three, four. I actually got a couple of these kits and gave them to a few new stampers that I know because I thought that's the perfect way for them to see how easy it's going to be to put cards together. Um, and when you're first starting out, it's nice to have these kind of kits available so that you can see what you can do. All right, so this is gonna go right across here. Wow, I like that. And I don't know, um, probably take us a, maybe a half an hour to put together nine cards, maybe not that long. But they're pretty cards and they cheer up anybody that you send them to. And how appreciative would people be to get a card that says you make my life brighter. All right. Now we're going to use gems again. So we're going to pull them over here. And you can see they just kind of sprinkled them around. So let's take one and put it up here. A smaller one down here. And another one down here. And again. Take the bigger ones and put them up top. And get a smaller one. Forgot where I was. And then we'll take these two tiny ones and put down below. It adds just a little sparkle. Isn't that pretty? Okay. That's the second card. Let's look at the third card. Okay, we're going to use our white card bases here. So let's go ahead and get those folded and burnished. So they're ready to go. Now, whenever you get this, these kits, um, they have instructions with everything that you need. Even the stamping kits come with everything that you need to do the cards. So there's never any not having what's what you need to finish them up. So. All right, these are going on top. And as you can see, we're using the little circles, which are the glue dots. So we're gonna turn these over and you see in the corners, you're gonna take a glue dot in every corner. In the corner, not off the corner. All right. easier if I took this little oops and they usually give you way more than enough stuff supplies so you have stuff left over when you are done and you can keep those for other projects. Wow, I am just not catching. Oh, you know what? I did it on the wrong side. That's all right. 
Let me go back and pull this off. And I'm going to have to pull the glue that off as well. I did that on both of these. We all make mistakes. It'll come off. And we have plenty of glue dots, so we'll just go back and re-add them. And that added a few minutes to our finish time because, well, I messed that up. Okay, now we're going to turn them over and do it the right way. You want to put the glue dots on the back. like where did it go do I have them on all of them I do all right got that one done so now we're going to attach these to the front so you're just going to peel off the extra from the glue let's put a different one on that one because Okay, now we're going to put this on the front. Put it straight on there and push your corners down because your glue dots are in the corners. That's what's gonna hold this onto your card base. All right, there's two. Now for the third one. These are always fun to get and do with your friends too. If you've got um, an occasion that's coming up where you're gonna need lots of something because you can change these out and make All right, this is going to be a little note of cheer. And you can see that there's a background piece here that says, I'm here for you today and always. So we're going to take that and poke those out as well. Now you can see there's three glue dots on the back of each of these. So let's take and put three glue dots on the back of each of these. Hopefully I'm, yep. And then this one. Now 
Now we're gonna put these in the center. So you peel off your back of your glue dots. And you're going to put this about in the center. And it doesn't actually tell you, but I'm going to use some glue dots to, or actually, yeah, glue dots to put that across as well. And probably we just need to put a couple of glue dots on those, just on the ends, just to hold them in place. Unless I missed something. Oh no, I, I see I missed a step up here. They used a dimensional or a glue dot in the center. Let's put these on, we did it backwards. So they did this over the top, just right above the words. And we're gonna do that with a dimensional. And I know I have some dimensionals left here. And I'm actually going to add a couple dimensionals on this just to hold them down. All right. So Kits are available. They do have complete instructions if you follow them step by step. Wow, that's pretty. And it, it doesn't have a lot on it, but it's just enough to... to um, cheer up somebody's day. So whether they're having a bad something happening or maybe you're just thinking of somebody and you just want to send them a little card. People love getting cards in the mail. And these are, no. this one is no stamping. They do have stamping ones if you wanted to start stamping. I just wanted to take the opportunity to show you what is available in our kits so that you could see um, what you can do. So these go with our blue envelopes oh you know what we didn't add any little jewels to this let's go back we still got jewels here let's go back and add some jewels we could add quite a few jewels if we wanted um let's put a bigger one here my pen is And another one here. We're adding one up here. Let's add one down here. And let's do one more bigger one down here. There we go. And you can add these wherever you want. They do tell you on the instructions, I'm sure, exactly. Uh, they show where they would suggest that you do it, but they're your cards and make them your own by putting them where you want. I take your pick tool today is just 
not cooperating 100%. Like I say, you have several of these left over. So if you wanted to go back and add more or, you know, change them around, whatever you wanted to do, they're your cards. Whoops. There. Okay, so we have these. They go with our blue envelopes. The insides of these cards are left blank, so you can write your messages on the inside. There's those. Next, we have the pink envelopes, which are gonna be with these gorgeous butterfly cards. And then we have, I don't know which are my favorite. I like them all. Okay. So that's what you get with this particular kit. We do have several kits available. And um, every one comes with the instructions, whether you want to stamp or not to stamp or make treat boxes, Halloween's coming up, um, Christmas is coming up, if you wanted to hand things out. The perfect way to do it would be to get a kit. So, thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't do it exactly according to instructions, but that's the thing about the kits. You can make it your own by doing whatever you want. So, if you've got any questions, I'll put the link in the comments below for the kids collection so you can go check it out yourself and see what's there and if there's something that interests you thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye